We're here at the, yeah, we're here at what had been the edge of the perimeter, right, of this frozen zone. But now that's being changed. Here's what we could tell you. We, we just had a conversation uh, with a police source who said this. All those shots that we'd heard here in the, in the frozen zone, uh, just two blocks away, th those were real. Though there, there, wa there were shots, there was gunfire that was heard generally, and there were, there were sonic booms that were heard in the area. Whether or not it was gunfire uh, can't be confirmed. However, we were told by that law enforcement source, this is not that location where this uh, suspect uh, has been apprehended. Instead, it is over at Franklin, the way uh, I'd mentioned about 10 minutes ago, uh, a street that's about a little over a mile from here. Uh, that's where all this went down and where cops uh, use firearms to James, sort of we want to interrupt out. you for a moment because and underneath you, Boston you police, can't say, there you go. Go ahead and say Boston it yourself. Boston police reporting that he is in custody. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah. So now we're hearing from the police commissioner here in Boston that this suspect is in custody. The second marathon bombing suspect is in custody. So he has been captured alive wow. under a tarp on a boat at 67 Franklin Street, which is out of the frozen zone. How he ended up there? Uh, he clearly fled on foot after that big gun battle. This is puzzling and fascinating that he managed to survive this massive police shootout. His brother did not, and then he was able to go. I went to the, the scene where the shootout happened. It's uh, about four blocks from here. He managed to survive that and then get himself from there to about a mile away on foot and might have been bleeding. I mean, remember, this was a gun, uh, gun battle that had 200 rounds, 200 bullets fired. This is quite remarkable. The fact that he's taken into custody, according to the police commissioner, that he's been taken into custody alive, can be questioned, can be brought to justice, can, and that this whole scenario ends up playing out very much the way the president, the governor, and the mayor of Boston uh, all described, that, that a suspect will be brought to justice. Uh, quite remarkable, and it appears to be unfolding right now. And the things that I have covered um, in the last 40 years, uh, I would say this is top five, maybe number two. And... Um, possibly number one in importance. Number one is clearly the World Trade Center bombing. But because, and I want you to, I want you to listen to me carefully here for the next 20 minutes. This is very, very important. What we do going forward from here will determine the fate of our nation. Make no mistake. This story is number two because of what I know, what we do will make this the most important story um, of our lifetime. What, what's happening now is very important. What happens in the aftermath will make it the most important because it will either save our country or we will be done. So let me just say this to those at the highest echelons of government that know the tagging system. They know all about events, not files, events. Let me send this message very clear. We know who this Saudi national is. And it is in your best interest and in the best interest of integrity and trust for the, uh, the people of the United States of America. It's best coming from you, not coming from a news organization. It's best coming from you. You have until Monday. We have information on who this man is. And listen to me carefully in your little event world. We know he is a very bad, bad, bad man. I know that doesn't make any sense to you right now, but on Monday... It will. It makes sense to somebody in Washington. I don't bluff. I make promises. The truth matters. 
I've had enough of what you've done to our country. I thought I had heard and seen it all. I thought I didn't trust my government. Oh, no. No, no. There is no depth that these people will not stoop to. They have until Monday. And then the blaze will expose it. 